Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're gonna to be going over how to create a mass update quick action within Salesforce. Now, this is a really cool tool. However, there's a lot of things that you need to do to set it up and to get it going to, to be able to use. So we are gonna be going into how to create this, how to set it up. So the scenario we're gonna be using is that we are going to create a quick action to update cases to be used on a related list. Now that's a mouthful. This is a newer feature, so you might not have this in your org yet if you have not updated it. It should be coming out soon. So let's go ahead and jump into cases. So it's going to be on a cases related list on a contact. So we're gonna create the quick action on the cases object, and then we're gonna put it onto the contacts related list. So let's go ahead and jump into setup here. And then we're gonna go to object manager and then go down to case. All right, so let's go ahead, go to buttons, links, actions, create a new action. And the action type is going to be update a record. And then we're going to change the status of the record. And then let's go ahead and say change status as the name of it. Um, and then for success message, I'm just gonna say updated cases. And so what this is doing, the action is going to update the record and the label type, that's what it's going to be doing. It's going to be changing the status of the case. And then I just named it change status. Anything is read, of course, needs to be filled out because it's required. Let's just go ahead and keep it as the icon. I am going to hit save. Oops, well, now we need to do the underscore. Even after doing Salesforce for like 10 years, I still get these errors, so don't feel bad about that. I just needed to add an underscore. Okay, so now I am going to click save here. So now we have created that change status action. So it is ready to go. But because we're going to be changing the status from a related list on another object, we need to go add the action to the other object's related list. So it looks kind of confusing or it sounds kind of confusing. Let's go ahead and go into the contact here. All right. Now let's go ahead and go into the layouts. There we go. And I'm going to add this to the contact layout here. So instead of adding it this way, it's not going to work if we're doing it, just adding it from the quick actions because it's not for this object. So let's go ahead and scroll down all the way to cases here and uh, click this little wrench icon. So this is kind of a niche, super niche thing to change up the related list on another object. But let's go ahead and go down to buttons here. We can add change status or add a child case. Let's go ahead and just add the change status. And then I'm going to click OK and then save. So now from here, we're gonna go over to home. I'm just gonna refresh on the front of the Salesforce. Let's jump into a contact and see if we can find one that has some cases that are open. Let's do it more than one case here. All right, great, they've got two cases. So let's go ahead and jump into this related list. And as you can see, this new button over here is change status. So you got new, change owner, change status. We're just adding that change status. So let's go ahead and select both these cases. And then we can change the status. It's closed. Typically what you'd be doing is working it from the other way around. So we can add it to from closed to working. All right, let's go ahead and click save. All right, and we have updated those cases. But that is how you set up a mass update quick action for your related list. Uh, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and X at Emily Call MBA. Check out the courses down below or on salesforceupskill.com. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys next one.